Okay, all right, all right. Settle down, settle down, kids. Uncle CDP here. In an awkward way of recording, I have the mic on my left and my laptop on my lap, uh, on my lap, rather. We uh, got some cats with show Jinshi to read through. Shout out, uh, Zombie Meister, and shout out to uh, Ace, or Ace Plays as you go on YouTube. Uh, Y'all motherfuckers been watching the fuck out of this. I appreciate it. I show love when people show love to me. Shit. Bro, though, shout out. Appreciate it, y'all. Um, there's a plant coming by. So, um, I'm just going to mention that I hate it. And, uh, and I hate this painting, too. As usual. If you don't know, now you know. This painting's fucking creepy. There's always, like, a different painting here. So, it always confuses me, like... What floor are we on? Because it can't be like a different fucking painting being switched out. Unless it's like a digital little thing. But that would be fucking weird. But whatever. <clears throat> Let us begin. One flight of stairs up and I run into problems. Okay, see. So we were. Okay, so this is the second floor. No, no, no. Okay, okay. So this is the third floor. And what we're used to is the second floor. Okay, cool. The second floor hallway is a carbon copy of the third floor one. Wide, of course, and plain, like only halls can be. The problem is that the library's whereabouts are not as easily determined as one would think. The classrooms are marked with signs stating which class they belong to, but then there is a plethora of other unmarked rooms. Is the library one of them, or is it just somewhere down the hallway? Mm, I bet on the ladder and choose my direction at random. After I turn around the corner, an unmarked door draws my attention because it's not closed. It's not open either though just barely a jar so that i can see it's open and nothing else it would make sense for the library door to be invitingly open and while this one's not quite that it's good enough at the very least it means that someone's inside and i can ask for directions no matter how embarrassing that is i gingerly push on the center of the door with my fingertips uh every muscle in my arm ready to pull back at a moment's notice did i fuck that up i did the feeling of being an outsider to this school can't be shaken from my mind, so much that I instinctively fear doing something wrong by entering. The door slowly creaks, that's fucking weird, as if this is a fucking horror game. If groaning from a deep sleep, though, is much easier to open than I anticipated. Leaning over and poking my head ever further inside to gain sight of the room as fast as possible, the meek, hello, on my lips is quickly snatched away. Oh, damn. Is there an angel in this room? God damn, son. This, uh... This is not what I expected. Or I was expecting. Fuck you, Wissel. I mindlessly let the door open to its full extent, taking in the sight of the solitary figure, taking center stage of the otherwise abandoned room. The situation steals my voice, leaving me standing at the doorway, staring at the beautiful girl. Damn, he's even called her beautiful. I think, what the fuck is that noise? Did y'all hear that? What the fuck was that? Um, he's only called her, like, Shizune cute, and I think he's called Misha cute. I don't think I've ever seen him actually say anyone's beautiful. I immediately know he thinks he's, that she's beautiful, and that's cool. That's a good feature to have. She is beautiful. Look at her. You know what? Well, never mind. <laughs> Evidently, having taken her time to assess the situation, the girl gently puts down her teacup and opens her eyes, but doesn't look at me. Ooh, them blue eyes. Uh, hello there, may I help you? Staring directly in front of her, with the movements of her lips seem to break the silence rather than the words. Uh, however, it's the soft, measured voice that reminds me she's being separate from the room itself. Not only is she likely the tallest girl I've ever laid my eyes on, but even among the foreigners I've met, she's strikingly, strikingly distinct. Uh, hi. Sorry for intruding, I was just, uh, kind of lost. She takes a moment to formulate a response before speaking. Every action she takes feels as if it's carefully choreographed beforehand. Care to take a seat? Uh, unexpected. Considering that I'm intruding upon her. Um, thanks. 
I slowly stepped towards another seat opposite of her, a girl resting the teacup and saucer on the wooden table in between. The way she doesn't track my movements with her head is telling that and the slight, you know, cloudiness to her eyes means that she must be at least partially blind like Kenji. <clears throat> Come to think of it, her voice doesn't have any detachable accent either. I guess she must be half Japanese. As I take my seat, her composure takes me slightly off guard. Her air of relaxed confidence makes the silence entirely comfortable. The calming atmosphere is so very different from the student council office. I take it you're new to st yeah. I fucked that up, Jesus. It's the first fucking dialogue I really get, and it's like uh, la, 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 la. I take it you're a new student to Yamako? Uh yeah, I I just transferred in yesterday. I get the distinct feeling my speech patterns don't match her the formality of hers, accentuated by her restrained bow of gesturing or greeting. One which I hasten to match before realizing the futility of the action. I'm Lily Sato. Pleased to meet you. Hisao, the Sanakai. She gives a nod before gesturing roughly in the direction of her teacup. Would you care for a drink? Uh, sure. As much as it pains me, I can't keep step with her formality in the proceedings. She gives a kind nod, taking the request in stride. Pause, hold up. She gets off the chair? She's gonna do it for you? What the fuck? I get that, you know, you, you know equality and shit, right? She can do it herself. She doesn't need your fucking help. I get it. But, um, fuck you? I'm sure, listen, you're beautiful. Um, just as a gentleman, I want to do it my, you know, I don't want you to have to get up. I'll make it myself. No problem. Thank you so much. And plus, you, 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 you blood. I'm not going to fucking make you do all that. That's just weird. See, like me, me, right? I, no, this is fucking weird to me. I would never fucking allow this to happen. I'd fucking be like, no, no, I got it. Don't worry. Thank you. Just tell me where the fuck they are. And that's fine. Like if she's just like, yeah, it's in uh, one of the cupboards over here. I'll be like, all right, cool. I got you. No problem. I'll do it. Still though, I mean, shit, that's pretty cool. Maybe different culture kind of, you know, habits that we do. I don't know. This is just me. I don't know if it's an American thing, but it's just me. Without another word, she steps off the chair and prepares the second cup of tea from a collection of supplies, I fucked that up, uh, laid out along a shelf. A brush here, a brush there, her left hand often lightly touching the side of whichever container she's pouring into, it seems to be a process she's followed dozens of times before. As I lean sideways to see around her back, she seems to be using her long, daintly finger to measure the right amount of water in the cup. It's one thing to see the different disabilities the students in my class have, but it's quite another to see how everyone seems to adapt. Shizune and Misha have no problem working together to communicate with me, and Lily herself seems to have a workaround for problems I've never thought of. While I feel slightly guilty about her doing the work, as you fucking should, she seems pleased to be following the correct process of the offerer preparing the drink. So. Her soft voice brings me out of my silent uh, observance. Which room were you looking for? It's not often this classroom is visited after school. Uh, the school library, Shizune and uh, some classmates I have told me it was on this floor. She finishes pouring water into the teacup as she nods, a small metallic tapping coming from uh, the teacup indicating it being stirred. I'm aware of Miss Hakamichi, as are most students. Uh, to be with them means you're in class 3-3, no? Uh, yeah, that's right, in the science room with Moto. She gives a small giggle before settling down on the teaspoon and slowly walking towards the table, teacup and saucer in hand. He's quite a character. I imagine you'll come to like him. Most do. Damn! If I was doing custom thumbnails, right, this would be a great thumbnail. Um, as she sets down the tea, I gently take it and have a sip. I'm really more of a coffee person, but this seems like a rather bad moment to bring it up. Motherfucker, what? I'm both, fam. The fuck? Here's how you do it. You have your coffee in the morning, however the fuck you like it. And then you have tea in the night. And in the middle, you know, uh, what? I, I usually just drink water or maybe... Um, let me think. Uh, maybe some milk, right? Um, for sure, like a protein shake. But yeah, that's about it. I don't mean like a fucking muscle milk drink. I mean like you get some fucking whey protein and you make your own fucking shit with water. That's it. 
Try to get her the game, folks. I'm just saying. Uh, as she sets down the tea, I gently take it and have a sip. I'm really more... Oh, right, right. He already said this. Fuck him. Nonetheless, the smell is quite nice. I hardly think it would be hard to choke down. It's fucking tea. Uh, thanks, Soto. It tastes really nice. She smiles and quickly waves her hand in front of her face. Lily, please. There's no need to be too formal. She says this in spite of her exceedingly well-bred speech. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess I should try to ask her about herself, as it really does seem as if she's catering to me. Uh, so which class are you from? I imagine it's one of the third year classes. Are you a sophomore? I seem to have this question like all the time. No one ever gave me a fucking actual answer like, is Lily older? Is she fucking... I'm gonna save the bees. Correct. I'm in class 3-2, which is on the third floor, the same as yours. It's taught by Miyagi, and is specifically for both blind and partially blind students. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry. Oh! Fam, come on. I, I don't think that's a big deal, the whole... Oh, using the word C. Oh, yeah, it's over there. And fuck you. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like if you're a cool blind person, right? <laughs> and you're watching this. You'd fucking, you know, you you play up, you play along to that characteristic. Like, yeah, I'm fucking blind, but it's fine. You, don't make it weird for yourself. Like, yeah, I know I'm blind. Just, you know, don't make it weird. Now, if you're stuck up about it, I mean, shit, you're you can't watch this, so whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh fuck me. Okay, I feel like slapping myself with the fox paws. Looking at her though, she doesn't seem to in it at least a bit put off by it. My, my, there's no need to change your speech on my account. Uh, sure, sorry. I guess I'm really showing my newest in here. In an environment like this would be a big change, so I can't fault you for it. While the same can't be said for everyone, many have come to terms with their conditions. A category which would include her, it seems. All too ready to jump ship from this particular topic, I segue into another. Uh, did you come here often to drink your tea? It's a really nice place. Thinking on it, this might be her version of the place behind the, my school that I like to have my lunch at for that one fucking year. Or no, not even. He had it for like three months or some shit. Um, <clears throat> I come... <clears throat> no, 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 come on, we got this. I come here ve fairly often during lunch times. My duties as a class representative don't leave enough time for an official club, so a friend and I use his room to having tea. Class representative, huh? Dan, you gotta join us through the council, man. Come on now, fam. Uh, compared to Shizune, her mannerisms seem to be almost completely opposite. While Shizune is blunt and fiercely driven, Lily seems relaxed and calm, almost aloof. Come to think of it, she might be useful for a less biased view of the school's clubs. What kind of clubs are there to join? Hmm. The more popular ones are on track and field club, which uses the field near the school during lunch times. Mm, baseball club and the book club are in a room near the library. Okay, but where's football? And where's soccer? And where's fucking basketball? I need to dunk on some hoes, goddammit. Actually, could he fucking do any of that? He's He does have a heart condition. Doctor did say just go on walks. Don't fucking, you know what I mean? Go play basketball. Be Colby and shit. Woo! Um, there are also numerous small ones too, though, such as the art and music clubs. Those are cool, yeah. At a time when I'm just wanting to get on my feet, rushing to a club right away seems slightly unappealing. I wonder if the school shares the same rule as my old one. Is it compulsory to join a club? It isn't, though it is encouraged. Ah, oh, good. That's a relief. I really let my guard down around this girl to let such a thing slip out. The fact that it seems to slightly amuse her. At not wanting to let my tea get cold, I start finally drinking it as Lily does the same. Damn, you spent some time here, dude. Ain't that some shit. As I look over to the window over her shoulder, I notice the light coming into the room has a distinctly orange tint. Even here, time doesn't stand still. Huh, it's... Time's gone quickly. Wait, sorry? Hold up, give me one second, folks. Ooh, not a little too loud. Let me change that real quick. I'm noticing that in the videos, um... The audio, or the music here in the game, or visual novel, it's too loud. Uh, sorry? Right, she's blind. No shit, she can't see shit. Duh. 
Uh, it's just, it just looks like the sensor in it's set. It seems to come as a surprise for her. I guess she must have lost track of time, too. Uh, sorry, Hisao. I didn't mean to keep you from the library for so long. I quickly move a lay. I quickly move to a lay her concern. Uh, no, it's okay. The library's still open, isn't it? She pauses and takes a moment to think on it. It's probably something I should have asked Azune when I had the chance, but Lily seems likely to know in any case. Mm, true, it's open until 6:30 during weekends. A quick glance at my watch. Ooh, smooth with it. Pow! Pop the watch right, flex on it a little bit right. You don't want to be too much of a shawl, right? Be candid about it, but, um, you know. Uh, is kind of. Hold up, is candid the right word? Let me know in the comments. A quick glance at my watch confirms I have well enough time to get there. Hmm, I might get going in that case. It's been nice talking to you, with you, Lily. She smiles and gives a deep nod, her hands still neatly folded on the table in front of her. It was my pleasure. Alright, listen, okay? People are taking a lot of guesses as to what run is this? Who technically I'm, I guess, going for? I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Just for those who are just like, is it this, is it this, is it this? Lily's gonna for sure be last. I'm telling y'all that right the fuck now, okay? The other paths, though, we'll see. Y'all will find out. Be patient. But for sure Lily's last, because she's the one I'm like, yo, this looks like I would really enjoy this, so I'm going to save her for last. Did I hit the mute button? I did. Guess what? Dab. Oh, come to think of it, uh, should I show you where the library is? I couldn't possibly ask for more help. I should be able to find it all right. Well, unless my navigation skills fail me again. Hey man, you found a you found a beautiful woman when you did that. So do it again. Find some other beautiful woman, or Kenji, whatever. Exactly. See, he even, he even fucking says, which they seem to have a habit of doing. See, Matt, I fucking know this game. It's all right. I, I was going to be take take. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I was going to be talking to the librarian there. In any case, I can introduce you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. This gets better and better. It's pretty hard to deny your offer. Yeah, if you're sure, then that'd be great. Thanks. As she stands up to follow me, she takes hold of a straight, retractable cane that had been slipped in the handle of her bag on the floor. Compared to the cane the boy in my class had, Lily's looks much thinner and longer. His must be for support, whereas Lily's is for navigation. That makes sense. Together, we leave the peaceful room and enter the empty hallway on the way to the library. Side by side, my pace carefully show, slowed to ma match hers. We slowly walk through the hallway. It doesn't take long for us to arrive at the door to the warm looking room, apparently situated in the center of the floor rather than either wing. Ladies first. She gives an appreciative smile at the jester, taking the lead as we follow in. And we're gonna end this episode right the fuck here. Remember to like this video, subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Fucking, um, send ludes, not nudes, save the bees, eat booty. Um, see you in the next episode. Bye, folks.